Hey everybody, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, it's season 45, and this is war number 11. One more war after this one, and we're done. And we're going up against an alliance called the Legit Dealers. Oh boy. All right, let's see. Who do they ban? Standard. Spider-Man 2099, who doesn't always get banned, but Silk and Void. Oh, yeah. They like banning them. All right. Let's uh, see what the defense has in store for us. Okay, so we've got Colossus. He's Gallon Food. But then we have Scarlet Witch, who is a global attacker. So, trying to think. Ideally, you want someone who, and I see why they got rid of uh, Spider-Man 2099. Uh, if she doesn't gain armor ups, then you just need somebody that uh, can handle her on this node. Ah, so she does get an armor up. Um, I actually might uh, use Gallon against her still. If she has an armor up, then uh, he might be able to nuke her. If not, I'll maybe bring someone else. We'll see. I'm trying to think um, if I have anybody else that might do well against her. There's always Ant-Man. All right. Speaking of Ant-Man, here is Ant-Man uh, Future. So that's going to be Magneto. Then we've got Nimrod. Um, that can be Hulkling. Let's see who we have here. Because I'm seeing that if I don't choose someone, I might get put to a matchup that's not ideal for me. Let's see. Um, I mean, Hulkling could do this one. Although that could be annoying. Um, hmm. We'll see. We'll, we'll see how this goes. I'm looking here. I don't really... Let me see. Sauron? All right. So if I bring in Hulkling, Magneto, and Galen, um... Let me see, is there anybody I can replace Hulkling with? Because I'm basically bringing him in for that Nimrod. But maybe I can bring someone else in who can handle one of these minis. Perhaps. Uh, prowess build up unblockable. Okay. I mean, I could bring in, well, no, Nimrod. I don't know. Nimrod might not do well on the node. He does well against Sauron, but not necessarily on the node. Um, and of course, this is why Spider-Man 2099 would have been perfect for this. So that's why they banned him, but I could bring in Ant-Man, but I still have to be able to take out that node. So, um, all right. So Hulkling for sure, I'm going to bring in. 
Gallon for sure, and Magneto. And we'll hope that Gallon just is able to nuke her down. Magneto. I wonder, can Magneto... See, he wouldn't do well on this fight because of the uh, one eye open. And I don't see anyone else that would be a great matchup, which doesn't stop them from uh, assigning me. Let's see. Stunning reflection. Yeah, I don't. I'll have to look over and see if I can bring someone. Um, let me see. Gallon can take those two. Magneto is perfect for that uh, Ant Man. And so if I were to bring someone else. It would have to be, I would have to replace Hulkling, because Hulkling right now, the only fight I'm using him for is this Nimrod. So if I can bring in someone who can handle that node and one of the minis, that would be great. So that's what I'll look for. So definitely, definitely um, Magneto. And... Uh, Definitely Gallon. And Hulkling is a maybe. Let's see. Yeah. All right. Let's get on with the fighting. Get on with the fighting. All right. We going in with Gallon, Hulkling, and Magneto. And I was pretty confident in some of the fights. Uh, there were two fights that I was worried about. Okay. Now, this first fight, not worried about it. He's gallon food. Okay. He gets all those armor ups. Every time my opponent has an armor up on this node, he's going to power burn me, do damage. Gallon doesn't care. In fact, he benefits from that. So every time they try to power drain, I'm going to get planetary mass. So instead of having to do medium light medium to build up, I can just go in and do five hit combos and I will ramp up very quickly. Okay, so you see me here, I'm like, hmm, what boost should I use? For this first fight, I know I'm not going to really need any. Uh, so watch here. All right. So just doing regular attacks. And look at my planetary mass is already up to 340. Look at this. I'm not even at my special one yet. And I'm at 680. Look at this. Bam. I'm already maxed out. That is how a gallon fight should go on this node. Sometimes my heavy attack gets delayed and all kind of other shenanigans. This time it went nice and smooth. Okay, now this next fight is the first one I was worried about. This is a global defender. And as you can see, I'm not going in with a global attacker. And I was not sure who I should use. See that sugar pill? We got problems. Okay, now I read this. And I missed one part. So Gallon, I believe, is immune to like nullify. All right. That was something I was worried about fighting Scarlet Witch. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to use Gallon. He can't be nullified, so I shouldn't have to worry about it. Right. Did a, a nice power, uh, advanced power boost. But look at my... Um, placebo buffs. Okay, see the blue ones there? Now, I'm trying to build up 
and I'm trying to bait out and she's not wanting to fire. Finally, she does. Watch the placebo buffs. Watch what happens. That is what happens. She delayed enough. I couldn't be aggressive enough. And I believe she went uh, unstoppable. And that was that. So I just like, hell, just gonna fire it off. But it, it, I'm like, that's not gonna save me. She's already got her, her damage in. That damage is gonna keep going after my special. You know, I do a little bit of damage, but my harvest won't complete. Look at this. Boom. I was like, seriously? But that was my fault. No complaints about the inputs. No complaints about anything like that. That was my fault. Miscalculation. Okay. And I'm like, you know, I probably should have just used Hulkling. The reason that I didn't want to use Hulkling is because I know Hulkling gets a lot of buffs. And, of course, when the buffs expire, that was the part that, you know, I forgot about with the uh, Global Defender. They still get the benefit, okay? So, you can see here, basically what I need to do is just take her down quickly, okay? So, look at this. As long as I'm going in. Now, here, you notice that my placebo buff kept renewing as long as i can keep this up i'm good see how easy that was but in the gallon fight she was delaying she was playing a little bit more passively and i allowed the placebo buffs to expire and she got right to her special three so having to deal with that again I would probably just say, you know what? I'm just going to go in with a um, a DK attacker. The problem is I need a DK attacker that I feel is safe for that node. Now, this fight here, you notice I waited out uh, the armor up. That is key. Now, I want you to see how much damage I'm doing on just my heavy attacks. I have maxed out the SIG level on my Magneto, and it does benefit. This is the damage, already 20% damage done, okay? Um, I can basically just block this. Doesn't do a lot of damage, as you see. My heavy attacks are doing more damage. Now I'm holding it a little bit so I can build up a little more prowess. So look at this, very nice, smooth and easy. Now I'm at 38. I'm just like, nah, you're not going to wait me out. Just pop it in, fire the special three. I took Magneto to rank four, took him to SIG 200, and you can see he does his thing. Uh, he definitely benefits from a high SIG, but it's not needed. Um, but I like him better at SIG 200. I'll tell you that. All right, so now, this next fight is against Nimgod. Now, this fight I'm going to take with Hulkling. Now, with Hulkling, you have to play around a little bit with his armor-ups because the more armor-ups he has on this node, the more he's going to glance. Okay, so I'm going to boost up. And I'm putting these boosts in not just for this fight, but because I have another fight coming. And I'm going to need to use a Cosmic Champion. All right. So here we go. I'm, you know, putting on that little boost or whatever. And I really need to, to restock my attack and uh, health boosts. Uh, I haven't done that, but I'm trying to remember where I got them. Because I used to have like tons and tons of them. Uh, I think they come from uh, some of the crystals that I haven't opened yet. So I need to just open those up probably be uh, before next season. I will do that. All right. So here's how you need to do this. One. You need to time your attacks 
when he doesn't have as many armor ups. So like right now he has two armor ups. The reason that I'm just attacking him is because I'm trying to just basically build up a little bit. But I see that I'm just glancing and I'm not able to build up the power I was hoping for. All right, so you can see here, I'm trying to build up a little bit more. Now, you see the heavy attacks will expire, but every time he fires his special, he gets more, right? So you can see here, look at it, it goes down to two. So now I'm not glancing as much, but then he gets another. So I'm trying to time it where I have a special two and can get the unblockable. That's what I want. Okay, so here we go. I'm still just trying to build up. The glancing is annoying. All right, here we go. And then I saw that it was unblockable. I didn't remember reading the unblockable text. I saw eradicate, but I don't remember seeing the unblockable, but I saw the icon. All right, so here we go. He has no armor ups now. All right, this goes unblockable. He clips me, but that's okay because he has no armor ups right now. So here we go. Now I'm unblockable. Oh yeah, now we get him. And guess what? We're back to a special two again, thanks to those boosts. And the fight is over. So it's a little annoying in the beginning, but once you wait it out and you time it just right, and he doesn't have any armor ups, and you can get to your special two and go unblockable, as you see, rip him up. Now, this final fight for me of this war is against Sauron. I am very worried about this fight. Now, I have fought Sauron. He is very annoying. I can evade his special one pretty well. I can evade his special two pretty well. But there are times when I will get caught. Not only that, but while I'm watching and waiting for his special and, you know, all this stuff, he likes to go unblockable. Right when I go for a parry, he suddenly becomes unblockable and rips me up. So I'm like, all right, I see. So what I'm going to do as a precaution, of course, is I'm going to boost up. Now, you see the prowess, and he does gain prowess. So his specials are going to be unblockable. That's fine. I can evade them. Triggering a buff and getting a bar of power, that concerns me. I don't like fights where they have a power gain. You saw what happened earlier. Power gain and me are not friends. They, they, it requires a different style of play than I am comfortable with. So I usually try to avoid it, but this fight was assigned to me. Uh, so you see, I boosted up with an invulnerability boost. Just in case I get caught with the unblockable. So strategy, of course, is just like Gallon. Medium, light, medium. Okay, medium, light, medium, as you see. All right, he's unblockable with his special. No problem. Okay. You see, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting him out. Medium, light, medium. Okay. Come on. Trying to get him to, to do that. He don't like it. All right. He also is putting a power sting on him. So I have to be careful of that as well. All right. Unblockable is ready. Okay. So now I'm not worried about this special two. Like I said, that's easy to, to evade. But he's still unblockable here. All right. Boom. Caught me because his unblockable hadn't wore out. But I'm like, okay. That's enough. That's why we had the invulnerability boost on. Who knows what that would have done to me if I didn't have that uh, un invulnerability boost. All right. So now we've begun the harvest. All right. Here we go. Yep. Evading that. And I'm just trying to wait this uh, harvest out. Come on. And I'm like, what, what just happened? How'd you hit me? Whatever. Here we go. Special. Bam. Not dead yet. What in the world? I didn't build up enough planetary mass. Okay. So we're just going to go in. Forget this. Get him. 
and we got him down. One shot. Ugly as anything, but it was a one shot. All right, so I messed up earlier, but I did manage to get the one shot on this mini. All right, so uh, that's it for my fight for this war. And we'll be back in a minute, and you will find out how this war ended. And we're back, and unfortunately, we lost this war. Not looking good for us to end in Platinum 2, let me tell you. Uh, this war, we just got spanked. There is no way around it, okay? Uh, take a look at the score. Look at this. I think, shout out to our MVPs. They, Like I said, they always hold it down. But I think this was probably our worst war this season. And I know a lot of people are very frustrated with the meta and all of that good stuff, but we can't really blame the meta. Uh, we also have some uh, things going on that interfered with our performance. Not that this was an excuse, obviously not, but it did make some things uh, more challenging. All right. And shout out to uh, the legit dealers. You guys played well. Okay. Um, we have one more war in this season. And we kind of need to win to even have a chance of being in Platinum 2. We lose this one. We're going to be in Platinum 3. Uh, unless there's a lot of docking. Uh, do yeah. Yeah, not doxing, but docking. Um, but even if we win the last war, that only gives us a shot at it. All right. But definitely this has been not a good season for us. I'll tell you that. Definitely the worst season that we have done since I have been in this alliance. Uh, I know a lot of us are very, very tired of some of the shenanigans that we encounter in war and how harsh, you know, those shenanigans are, you know, it doesn't take much to really just completely wreck you, you know? Uh, but anyway, that is going to do it. Thank you all for watching. Take care. Hit the like button. If you enjoyed it, if you haven't given me a subscription, definitely subscribe to the channel. All right. Take care. And you all, have a blessed day.